Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Tesla. Obviously the Mercedes is still just sitting there fully charged. I mean, I was too, but uh, I'm at least getting out of the spot. Nineteen hours. Check that out. Key fob battery low. Luckily, we got some backup batteries, and uh, I can just change that. It's really easy. Just pop off the back. We'll uh, we'll do that later. But um, yeah, it gives you a little uh, red notification. Pops up. Key fob battery low. See owner's manual to replace. Super easy. Not an issue, so we'll do that probably later tonight. Anyways, let's get rolling. I, I'm trying to get as much of the hood done today as possible. Um, I'm, I'm really going to try to move along nice and quick. We'll see how it goes. Oops. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of tire spin there. Uh, it's always fun. It's always fun. Uh, just just another day in the rear wheel drive Tesla. You know how it is. So I'm also remembering that I still have the uh, blue painters tape around uh, my rear brake light, tail light, whatever you want to call it. So I'm pretty sure that looks pretty foolish right now. So let's let's definitely get back. Do that first because well, I need to get that blue painters tape off my car. I don't think you want that sitting on your car too long. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. It's just painters tape. That means like the the tack, the sticky stuff is a little bit lighter, not as heavy duty. Obviously, not like duct tape where it's gonna like ruin things. But I still don't really want it sitting on there for extended periods of time. So let's get that tail light tint on, and then I'm I just I gotta crank out as much of this hood as possible because well, needless to say, it's taking me forever and. Um, yeah, we got, I mean, we just got to get this car done. Got to get this car done. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guys, we, oh uh, man, this is really going to bother me. I might have to redo this at some point. Sheesh. Unbelievable. Tinder, tinted, darked out, whatever, blacked out. There we go. This side, we're, we've been rolling around with this painter's tape, so. Let's, um, got to get our tool. I don't know about you guys, but this looks so much better than the red tail lights just really sticking out. So I think just doing like a nice smoke looks pretty decent. Um, I didn't go like super, super dark, but like obviously these are very dark, especially compared to stock. So very happy with how these turned out. Uh, some minor imperfections, but whatever. We'll come back to them at a later point. For now, it's a nice five foot tint job. I mean, honestly, most of the wraps I do are probably about five foot jobs. You know, like if you stand back about about five feet like they look pretty good from here right like you know you don't want to notice the imperfections too much you just kind of want to admire the car from from afar you know there's there's already panel gaps and misalignments that Tesla's have out of the factory so I'm just not really gonna dwell on that I'm gonna focus on you know this is coming along it looks it looks really cool um, a lot of people are probably gonna hate this as well but I think it looks awesome um, I think I lined it up pretty well with the center of the car so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes Anyways, let's, let's focus on getting more of this done because, well, we, we got a lot of hood left. It's probably like a third, maybe not even, so lots more, lots more to do. It is very hot out here, so I think I'm going to back all the way into the garage. Ooh, that looks so good. It's nice and, uh, nice and smoked a little bit there. There we go. That looks, that looks phenomenal. All right, back to wrapping. Just got Ziploc bags of all the wrap colors. Let's lay these out. That way we can easily pick and choose and throw them on. Fits like a glove. Just right in there I, I still think this looks awesome I do I do still need to do the front headlights I think that will really just make the front of the car that much darker it'll really blend in well with the paint job so more to come on that but for now let's get more of these tiles laid out because I'll tell you 
wet. These things, these things take forever. I'm already gonna have to redo a couple of them. They're kind of peeling up because I redid some, and you really can't redo them. You just gotta. Anyways, let's get to it. I'm rubbing alcohol and then let's get cracking. start another row but first <sighs> really hits the spot I'll take it anyways guys yeah it's it's coming along slowly but surely but uh, whew, I'll tell you what it takes a long time when you get one bad tile or a tile placed weirdly it, it's just a whole chain effect so you really got to make sure everyone is perfect otherwise it, like the angles just start getting worse and worse and worse and you get gaps and all this stuff and then the squares don't fit oh it's uh it's quite a process. I would highly suggest never doing what I'm doing. It's brutal. It's yeah. This is this is gonna be brutal on the whole car. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> also, it's it's definitely gonna take me at least like a month probably to do. I probably won't be done until maybe two months, maybe end of September. I, I don't I don't really know. I mean, at this rate, we've barely done half the hood, and I've already spent like three nights on it, three days on it. I don't know, something like that. It's not a ton of time, maybe like five hours, but I mean, this is gonna be like a twenty-hour car at least. So. Oh gosh, I'm just, uh, yeah, it's a lot. Anyhow, let's get back at it. Well, we got a, another like two rows done, and then we also got some of these like corner spots that I was just leaving until we had some extras, so this side's pretty much good. This side, still missing a couple gaps, but it's coming along, it's coming along. Anyways, we got a roll, we're heading to a uh, barbecue slash dinner thing, whatever you wanna call it, so I gotta hit the road, but, um, it's looking decent. I mean, it's looking decent. It's just, it's, it's a pain. It is a pain. I'll be completely honest, but it only cost me like 300 bucks and it's fun. I enjoy doing it. I'm learning and, uh, well, you gotta learn from your mistakes and you'll get better and then you move on from there. So yeah, it's been good so far. You know, got some taillight tint on there. We got the wrap coming along the front. It's, it's not bad. It's really not too bad. So I'm, I'm happy with how it's turning out so far. I think it's, it's gonna be unique, definitely. I mean, it's my last wrap was definitely unique. My last slash current wrap, because I'm slowly, slowly, slowly phasing it out. So we'll see how that goes. But either way, we're getting it done. We're putting in the work, and it's all gonna pay off in the end. I don't know how long I'll leave it on for. I kind of think I should leave it on for a long time because it's taken forever to do. I, I mean, there's no shot I'm getting done in August. It's it's definitely gonna be like a multi-month process just because. Limited time. Some cops sitting up there. That's interesting. There's, I've literally never seen police sit out of the neighborhood I grew up in, like right there. And now there's, I mean, I get it. Like I, I'll be honest, <laughs> I go pretty quick on this road, but there's a cop sitting there. I've literally never seen them sit there in my 27 years of life. So interesting. Be careful out there guys. If you're driving around in Montgomery County, there's apparently now speed cameras and police are back on the roads. So yeah, heads up, heads up. Uh-oh. Well, looks like we might have to redo both these sides. The side's clearly coming off, just not quite enough wrap to cover. And then it's getting bubbly. And same thing over here. That one's popping. 
open up just as much. So clearly that's no bueno. I don't know. We'll leave it on for a little bit just because why not? But yeah, we gotta we gotta do something about that. I guess it's it's that angle when you stretch it there. I think I need more wrap coverage to like shove into there and hopefully that will stay stuck down. But I don't know. We'll see. Either way, it looks much better tinted, so I know that. Definitely like the tint. This this is well this yeah it is what it is just gotta keep working our way up it's coming along nicely but uh, needless to say it's taking a long time but I think that's gonna be it for today if you guys are enjoying the vlogs please like and subscribe or at least consider it I mean you don't have to do it right now maybe do it on the next video or maybe like go take a break have a snack then do it I don't know whatever you feel like doing anyways uh, that's gonna be it for today tomorrow we're going tubing. Whitewater, no, not whitewater rafting, tubing. Tubing down the Shenandoah River. It should be interesting. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.